In a business, A and C invested amounts in the ratio of 2 is to 1, whereas the ratio between amounts invested by A and B was 3 is to 2. If rupees 1,57,300 was their profit, how much amount did B receive? Well, what is asked in this question? We want the amount of B. In order to get the amount of B, we will need the ratio of the profits earned by all of these parties A, B and C. And we have the profit, the complete profit given to us. And as always, we have been given the ratios of these investment. So A and C's ratio of investment is given. So I can write A by C is equals to 2 by 1. And another part is given to us, the ratio of A and B's investment. So A by B is equals to, it is 3 is to 2, so 3 by 2. Now what we want here is actually A is to B is to C. And from that we can calculate the profit share of B. Now A is to C is 2 is to 1 and A is to B is 3 is to 2. Well, if I multiply this equation by 3 by 3, I'll get 6 by 3, right? And on the lower side, this A by B, if I multiply this equation by 2 by 2, I'll get 6 by 4, isn't it? The reason I did this was to make this A's component equal. Here A is 6, here also A is 6. Now as we have A's component equal in both the ratios, I can write A is 6, B is this 4, so B is 4 and C is 3. So 6 is to 4 is to 3 is the ratio of the profits earned by A, B and C. Now we want B's share. So B has received 4 parts out of, we have the total parts as 6 plus 4 is 10 plus 3 is 13. So B's profit share is equal to 4 parts out of 13 times the total profit which is 1,57,300. So this is equal to when you will solve you will get this as 48,400. So option C is the correct answer here. A and B started a partnership business investing some amount in the ratio of 3 is to 5. C joined them after 6 months with an amount equal to that of B. In what proportion should the profit at the end of one year be distributed among A, B and C? Well, let us first calculate the time periods of each of the investments of A, B and C, right? So the total time period is one year. So we have 12 months. Out of that, A and B started the business. So A is for 12 months, B is for 12 months, right? Now C joined after six months. So C will be for six months. 12 minus six is six months. So these are the time periods. Now we have been given that the ratio of the investments of A and B is 3 is to 5. So I can definitely assume that A is equal to 3x and B is equal to 5x. The amounts of their investment, right? Now C joined after 6 months and with an amount equal to that of B. So C's investment will be equal to 5x. Now we have the investments, we have the time periods. We now can calculate the ratio of their profits, right? So A is to B is to C is equals to the amount invested by A which is 3x times the time period which is 12 is to now we have B which is 5x times 12 is to we have C so again 5x times 6 dividing the complete ratio by x we get rid of this x now dividing the complete ratio by 6, so this is the 6 get cancelled out, this is 6 to the 12 and 6 to the 12. So what remains is 3 times 2 is 6 is 2 
5 times 2 is 10 is to this 5. So the ratio of the profits of A, B and C at the end of this one year will be option C. 6 is to 10 is to 5. A, B and C enter into a partnership in the ratio of 7 by 2 is to 4 by 3 is to 6 by 5. After 4 months, A increases his share by 50%. If the total profit at the end of one year be 21,600, what is B's share? We have been given the initial ratio of investment which is 7 by 2 is to 4 by 3 is to 6 by 5. Let us rewrite this. I am multiplying each ratio by 2 times 3 times 5. So I have 7 by 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 is 2. Again I have 4 by 3 times similarly 2 and 2 times 3 times 5 and 6 by 5 times 2 times 3 times 5. I can cancel out the terms here 2 and 2, 3 and 3 and 5 and 5. So we have the initial investment ratio as 21 times 5 that is equal to 105 is to 4 to the 8, 8 5 is a 40 is to 40 is to 6 to the 12, 12 3 is a 36. So 36. So I can say that A invested 105x, B invested 40x and C invested 36x. Now after 4 months A increases his share by 50%. So 105x is only for 4 months. After that his share is increased by 50% for the next 8 months. Hence A's total share will be, let me write it here, A's total share is 105x for the first 4 months. So 105x times 4 plus we have a 50% increase in his share for the next 8 months. So 150% of 105x times 8. So when you solve this, you'll get the total share of A for the one year as 1680x rupees. Now let us calculate B's share. B is investing for 12 months, so times 12, and this is C is also times 12 because C is also investing for 12 months. Now we have the ratio of the investments we can get the ratio of the profits earned as the ratio of their investments, right? So A is to B is to C is equal to, we have A's share 1680x is to B's share. So 12 times 40 is 480x is to 12 times 36 is 432x. X gets cancelled out. And when you simplify this, what you will get is 35 is to 10 is to 9. So the total parts are 35 plus 10 plus 9, which is equals to 54 parts, right? So we want B's share. So B's share is 10 out of 54 of 21,600. So B's share is equals to 10 by 54 times 21,600 and that will be equal to 4,000 if solved. So answer is option D.